Hey guys, welcome back to Royal Q episode. Now, <laughs> Bitcoin has been bleeding for the last two months. Okay, for the last two months. You know, the first time I put my money into crypto is right here. Okay, on October. Okay, on October. And guess what? This is the perfect time to enter during bear market. Okay, not bull market. It's bear market. Look at it. This is a monthly candlestick chart. You can see that for the last three months, Bitcoin is just dumping. Okay. And from the past history, you can see back in April 2021, it happens as well. You know, it took Bitcoin three months to go down and then it start going up. And you will see right now we are in the perfect spot right here as the previous low which is the support level you will see now we might see bitcoin go even lower if you see this week lower week it's going to be around twenty eight thousand or something right and then hopefully the price will bounce back it's very very unlikely it's going to go to twelve thousand super unlikely guys uh, this is where it most likely is going to rebound okay, and this is the perfect time actually to invest in crypto even though if you were to join in October a lot of you might have floating loss okay I'm gonna show you shortly on the Royal Q application now I first enter crypto investment was in right here in somewhere around in October let me show you and I actually today today I deposit let me show you this first let me show you my uh, investment now my total investment inside Binance is $7,358. Okay, this is what I've been uh, tracking for the last few months. And this is how much money I'm supposed to have on my Binance. This is the total amount of money that I've invested into Binance in terms of USDT. Now, let me show you my Binance wallet. You can see right now it's only 5000 Let me redo this. 7358 minus... 5073 as for now and you will see where the 2300 goes okay where does it go it's in the floating loss because a lot of the coins price becomes lower or becomes cheaper now i will share to you also my two biggest mistake when crypto trading let me show you my royal queue and this morning i woke up i have a lot of fail to cover message let me show you this I have plenty of this error message guys because I didn't have enough funds in my Binance wallet okay look at it I have like 30 okay so around 30 30 times I failed to cover the short position okay basically it's just meaning I stopped the margin call because of insufficient funds so money management is very important especially bear market that you have proper money management okay when the circle told you if you want to play with one coin you need to have three hundred dollar or four hundred dollar prepare that fund okay don't use that funds for something else and you know we all have been guilty of that because you can see i actually put a lot of my money in fact five hundred dollar in buying these coins I was like, uh, I'm very greedy. Let me buy all this coin manually. And I did buy this all coin manually. And guess what? I used this money <laughs> to go buy other coin, which I should have used that fund to cover my margin call drop. You know, shit happens sometimes. We get greedy. You know, we use our money to buy something that we shouldn't buy. Okay. Now, how to combat that? Well, there's nothing we can do because we have used all of our money or we can just wait for it you know for you guys if you have the money you can you know top up and cover all those margin call and you can see today we only make like three dollar and ninety cents because i failed to cover a lot of coins okay so again money management is important guys let me drag this and you can see it's not even 0.1% because I forget to cover it. And today I actually added, you, you will see here, I added, I don't want to show you just the, oh guys, look at it, I'm making a lot of money. Oh, look at it, it's a bull market. I want to show you the worst case scenario as well, the bear market, okay? 
This is the time when I enter at the top. Okay, at the top. Am I panicking? Am I selling it? No. Okay. Don't panic, guys. If you panic, crypto is not for you. Okay, because crypto is very volatile. Okay, just to let you know. Now I've added total like $303. So this is how much money I've added. So I'll put it in here. Added 303. So since I added it today, uh, I will calculate tomorrow. Okay, I will add 303 on this number for tomorrow. And that's even not enough, okay? <laughs> I add this much money, it's not even enough because the market is like going crazy. And by the way, I'm playing with you will see I'm playing with I'm playing with 15 coins and uh, 15 coins 15 coins I only have like 4600 USDT or maybe 5000 so you know according to the circle one coin is 350 so if I play with 15 coin I should have this much funds in order to cover all the margin call but I only have this much funds 4600 and not to mention guys, this is not 4,600 because if you remember, $500 were used to buy this coin. And this is just like, you know, it's actually only like $4,000, maybe 4,100, okay? Because I bought this coin, 12 coins manually for $500. So I only have 4,100 where, you know, the rule is I should have $5,000 with 15 coins. So I'm being too greedy. This is why, why a lot of coins get stopped out. Okay, the margin call gets stopped out. This is a very dangerous mistake. Okay, don't repeat my mistake, please. And don't be greedy, especially in this uh, bear market. Okay, you can do this in the bull market, but we never know when the bull market is going to happen. And also be wise with your money. If the circle say, 350 for one coin uh, then follow the rules okay don't be greedy like me now we'll show you on my binance okay i show you today i add up pause it here usdt i will show you my history you can see this is the history for today 22nd of january i added 68 and i added 198 Okay, you can see right there, 68 and 198. And where is the 35? The 35 is in right here, transfer. And I was transferring from my country. This is Binance partner called Toko Crypto, okay? So you will see I transfer $35. So this is the total amount that I've added into my Binance account. 7358. And right now you will see that because of the market is dumping, our balance is only around $5,000. So if you see on the trading view, so if you see on Royal Q, I started trading on the spot market around November 16. Okay, November 16. November 16, you can see it's around right here, guys. Okay, right here at the top. It's not this top, but this top. If I take a ruler and look at how much Bitcoin has dropped since I joined, it's like negative 48%. So now, negative 48%, right? My balance on my asset now, my equity value is 5,000 on balance. And if we multiply by 48%, you will see the number is around the same, right? I put 7,000, almost 7,400, and this is where is missing, okay? So we gotta wait for the market to rebound, okay guys, to rebound in order to make profit. And actually, I'm already prepared with this situation because I know this is going to be a long-term investment. And what we got to do is wait for the market to rebound in order to take profit, all of these profits. Okay, this is when we're going to really earn back all our initial investment plus the profit we see here inside Royal Q. 
let me show you the one month chart you can see this is the one month chart you know because of the week here we might see the price drop even lower okay in the coming weeks but it should back up again so overall in the one month we might see this green candlestick okay for the next month hopefully this is what we are going to see and january is not ended yet we don't know when uh, this candlestick is gonna close is it gonna close up here or maybe even lower or it's gonna have like this week you know and the next day it could be another red candle it could be a green candle we never know so again i just want to share to you my biggest mistake is that being greedy investing on too many coins that our funds are not enough to cover you know even if i want to invest in these coins manually since these coins are not inside royal cube right let's say you want to manually invest you should invest in a coin that you can cover you know let's say for example ftm which is phantom coin i bought 50 dollar now the price drop right you will see here let's say the price drop i should buy more of phantom coin i should have hold my money instead of me buying all these other coin i should have hold my money and when phantom goes down i bought it right here dollar cost averaging instead of buying too many other coin i should have used that money save it hold it first you know keep it safe somewhere see the market if the market goes down use that money to you know dollar cost averaging okay that's one of the biggest mistake there um, secondly probably as you can see on my phone my ata you can see here is it is one shot this was from my previous circle coin if i click on ata you will see my strategy mode is on whole warehouse mode and i regret using this mode because whole warehouse mode is a just basic dollar cost averaging i don't even need use a bot to do that okay and the big drawback about this is that you will see i make no profit since then look at it it's only buy and buy there is no sell at all look at it i started this strategy back in october 27 so it has been two months october november december january three months already three months and there were no profit at all when you use whole warehouse mode okay if you use for example big right here although the return rate is negative 41 percent but i'm still making money which is the sub sell uh, this is called sub bin real time mode okay this mode is much better and we were able to still make money let me show you the sell i just press on confirm look at it i make like 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.1 look at all of these sub cells okay it's making money even though we are in the floating loss so this is why subbin real-time strategy mode is so much superior than the whole warehouse mode look at it i think i made like literally maybe three to five dollars if not like maybe five to eight dollars all of this so we still make money with subbin real time okay you can see it calls subbin mode you can see my strategy mode subbin real time mode so this is my second biggest mistake money management that's very important and also when you see on your quantitative here on your phone when you refresh it you might see oh i have a lot of money let me buy other coin let me start trading with other coin no calculate first calculate how much money you have allocated and then don't use that money just keep it safe okay don't even look at it so that when the market is going like this you are able to cover the margin call okay guys it applies the same when you do manual trading as well all right guys that's it for this video an update okay i just want to show you even though if you start at the top here there's nothing to worry about 
because this is a long-term investment. As long as your money management is right, just let the market plays out. Okay, just leave it be. Make sure you investing in it regularly, consistently, because this is a long-term investment. If you wanna do short-term investment, go play future. Okay, go play something else. Okay, and yeah, that's it for this video, and I will see you on the next one.